Hi, Teresa Momber here. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this card featuring images from Vogue Vases 2 from Gina K Designs. Begin by stamping the vase onto patterned paper using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Add some shading to the bottom and side of the vase using Copic Marker N3. And switch to Copic Marker N1 to continue shading, blending out from the previous color. Then use your Copic Blender Pen to soften the edges of that shadow. To add a bit more warmth to the shadow, use Copic Marker Y21 and color over the previous shading. And once again, use a blender pen to soften those edges. After coloring, cut out the vase using scissors. Trim white cardstock to two and three quarters by four and a half inches, and then use a sticky note to mask the top. Gently sponge Gina K bubblegum ink along the edge of the sticky note using a jumbo sponge dauber. For a smooth, even look when sponging, tap off the excess ink onto scratch paper and move the sponge dauber in a continuous circular motion. Remove the mask and then stamp the floral image, also from the Vogue Vases 2 stamp set from Gina K Designs, using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Color the flower centers using Copic Marker Y17. For the petals, start with Copic Marker RV17. Color in at the base of each petal, leaving the outer portions uncolored. Now fill in each petal using Copic Marker RV13. For the leaves and stems, use Copic Marker YG05. Adhere the paper pieced vase directly over the stem, matching up the bottom of the vase with the sponged line below. Create a cast shadow for the vase using Copic Marker BV000, coloring in directly under and slightly to the right of the vase. Use your blender pen once again to soften the edges of this shadow as well. To create decorative score lines to frame your image, place your cardstock image side down on your score buddy and score in the first two grooves. 
Rotate the cardstock and score in the first two grooves again, repeating for all four sides. Stamp the sentiment, also from Vogue Vases 2, in the lower right corner using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Then adhere to a piece of black cardstock which has been trimmed slightly larger than the white. Prepare a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold card base and trim a few lengths of pink ribbon to about eight to eight and a half inches. Place the ribbon pieces inside the card base and apply adhesive to the card front wrapping the ribbon around on each side to secure in place. Apply adhesive foam squares to the back of your layered image and then secure to your card front. And that completes our project. Thanks for watching.